Jemai, wait! Jemai. You lied to me. You're a journalist. L.A. Times. The media leak came from inside the police department. I don't work for the L.A. Times. You're no NGO. Whoever you are, stay away from us. Who killed Undo Dogun? You Americans are unbelievable. You meddle. Say you want to help. Stop the attacks. Change the government. You know nothing. Undo Dogun was a soldier. Mopul. That's all. You had his child, though. Denjuma's his son. My brother was murdered by Undo Dogun. He was NGO. He was, he was part of the Human Rights Watch Unit that conducted interviews in Plateau State. He witnessed the massacre in Joss, November 29, 2009. What do you want from me? The day that your husband and two boys were executed and thrown into a mass grave. What do you know of my family? Mopo security came to your home sometime between 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. after Jang issued the shoot on site directive. But you got out. Someone got you out. I owe you nothing. Was it my brother? God damn it, you must tell me. Tell me. I could never pretend to imagine what your life has been like or what you've lived through. But I am glad that Undo Dogun is dead. Knowing will not change anything. I know, but despite our cynicism, there are people who may not be changing the world, but they are doing a hell of a lot to improve it. And my brother was one of them. I know that he helped you somehow. I just know it. Please. After Mopul men attacked us and they took me to Undo Dogun. He kept me alive and raped me until I became pregnant with his child. A Christian child. I fled to Joss. A white NGO named Stephen helped some of us get to a refugee camp. He was also responsible for getting some of us asylum here in the US. When Undo Dogun was also given asylum by your government, Maybe there are no human rights because there is certainly no justice. Did you kill him? 